Hey, you guys. Waiting for some of you guys to come on. That's the whole theme of this retrograde. Best. My cat is tripping. Hey, you guys. Hey, Keisha. Hello. Hi, everybody. Hope all is well. Hello, hello, hello. Y'all, this retrograde is going to be something special for a lot of you guys. How's everybody doing? Hello, hello. <laughs> hey, Marissa, how are you? Hello. Wait for some of you guys to come on. Hey, Dom hey, cousin. Dominique Smith. Hey, cousin. I miss y'all. Come see y'all soon. We'll be out there for the holidays. Maybe. Hopefully. Possibly. Hey. All right. Hi. Hello. 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 This retrograde, you guys. We have a retrograde coming up on October 31st. You guys have probably already been feeling the energy um, behind the retrograde. It's a very deep, a very deep energy. And so I'm here to give you guys some insight. Aww, I miss you guys. I miss you guys. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Um, you guys, please like, share the video. There may be somebody that might need to hear this, and I would greatly appreciate it. So I'm going to talk to you guys about the retrograde that's coming up. Um, and then we're going to do some live energy assessments too as well. So this retrograde, um, it's actually began. So the energy has actually started to formulate. It's actually starting. Um, you may notice you might have some of the people from the past popping up. Um, our situations from the past that are just like, like they're popping up. Hey, Dejanae. Girl, hey, Trimmer. <laughs> I might see you tomorrow, Trimmer. Hey. So you might have some people from the past popping up. Or past situations that are just like, just popping up. You guys know how retrogrades work. Retrogrades are there. All right, what's a retrograde? So a retrograde is something that, uh, it's a planet. Uh, depending on the planet and mercury is a deep one mercury is one where relationships it's about communication it's about uh, understanding um dealing with the throat chakra the throat so when mercury is in metro i'm sorry retrograde we're dealing with things that are unsolved like things that are it's unresolved issues so x's pop up they just pop up um, things that you may have suppressed in the past, they pop up. Things that you don't deal with, they pop up and they resurface because that's what it's about. Like the throat is all about you dealing with expressing your When that pops up and mercury is all in the throat. So when that occurs, when that planet goes into reverse, it's a retrograde. You, it's inevitable that... You're going to have to deal with things that you may have suppressed, placed on a back burner, the unresolved things, um, things that have been left open will come up and the energy has already started. So you guys have already been feeling it. You guys probably been feeling very tired, kind of blah, um, low energy. You may even be sleeping through the night, but you're still tired. You're just like, you know, I'm tired. I am feel drained. Um, I feel like, I mean, what's next? What do I do next? You know, you're kind of in a state where you're in limbo and that's what this whole energy is about. So if you're in that vibration, something is going to get better on October 31st, just to let you know, but it becomes a lesson. So if you're not on your path, if you're not where you need to be, if you're not happy, if you're not fulfilled, if you're not um, in a situation like where you're healthy, you're going to be going through situations that are going to become lessons to kind of push you and teach you and make you go into your state where you need to belong. It's, it's where you belong. It sounds like you receive an offer 
but either you accept it or you reject it. So you'll get an offer. And the offer is, okay, listen, all right, this is, I mean, your gateway. So are you going to go this direction or no? And if you don't, okay, that's fine. You'll just accumulate more, I mean, lessons, um, obstacles. But if you go in a direction, you will succeed and you will actually accumulate like just a lot of prosperity, success, um, happiness, and fulfillment. So this retrograde is going to target your money. This retrograde that's coming up is going to target your money, your finances, and your security. So if you're currently not on your path, if you're a person where you are, if you're going to work just to work, you're always tired, um, you feel drained, you feel unfulfilled, you're bored, um, work is work. You're always, every single day, you're thinking about, so, so what can I do? I don't want to go to work. If you're a person that's like, with your mindset, if you're like, well, I don't want to go to work. I'm tired. What can I say or do to get out of this? This retrograde between October 31st and November 21st is going to take away from you. Meaning some of you guys are going to lose your jobs. Um, you'll lose money. Your money's going to be targeted. Um, so I would recommend if you're a person, and this is a, is I'm, I'm actually forewarning you, if you're a person where you're unfulfilled, be cautious with your spending right now. And that's a deep warning. If you don't hear nothing else that I say, be cautious with your spending right now because you're going to need your money. If you're a person that's unfulfilled right now, if you're not in your purpose, if you're not on your path, so with this retrograde, it's trying to, uh, this retrograde is actually in Scorpio. So Scorpio is all about, it's either like you're in or you're out. It's your in or you're out. There's no gray area in Scorpio. So this Mercury retrograde is actually in Scorpio. You're either in or you're out. And so meaning that you're either going to have a prosperous time. So meaning that if you're on the right side of the fence, you're going to have um, money coming in. You're going to be very prosperous, going to have promotions, all kinds of job offers, all kinds of opportunities. Um, so if you're on the right side of the fence, you're going to have a whole bunch of stuff coming in. If you're on the wrong side of the fence, if you're not in your purpose, if you're unfulfilled, if you're doing something that you just hate, and it's just it's work, it's a job, you will it'll be taken away from you, or you'll have challenges. So if you know, only you know, and I know too because I can read energy, but only you know, honestly, if you're unhappy going to work, if you're just like, man, this is work and I'm tired, I don't want to go, man, I really don't want to go, you're gonna have some issues. Within this retrograde that are going to target your finances. Hey Marv, it will target your finances. But if you're on the other side of the fence, if you are in your purpose, if you've been working your purpose and you feel happy with what you do, if you feel satisfied, if you love what you do, it's going to be a great retrograde for you because it's all about money and finances and prosperity and growth within this retrograde. You're going to have a great a great retrograde a great retrograde it's about like um if you think about scorpio scorpio again is either in or out if a scorpio is on your side i mean they're the best friend ever like they're the best friends they are loyal they are um they're great providers they are attentive if you're on the right side of that but on the other side of scorpio they can be vindictive they can be petty they can be mean. They can be like vicious. I mean, they can be cold. So think about Scorpio. That's what this whole Mercury retrograde is in this whole energy of Scorpio. So you're either going to be on the good side of it or the bad. There's no gray area. So again, if you're on your path, if you love what you do, if you have a passion towards what you do, if you wake up, like if you would do what you, if you today, do what you would do for free if you can afford to do so you're on your path if you love what you do you're on your path but if you wake up every single morning and you're like damn i gotta go to work or you know i'm tired or let me make an excuse or, let me try to figure out a way out you're not on your path and your money's going to be impacted we as humans for some reason we are very physical people so we only understand like physical things for some reason we just do so our punishments, it's not even punishments, our lessons like revolve around things being taken away from us. And 
what affects us the most? Our security, our love. Love and security affects us the most. So when the universe is trying to get your attention, listen, or you won't move. So, all right. So you won't move. Okay, so I'm going to drag your ass then. I'm going to drag you. So you won't move with me, so I'm going to drag you. And when we are dragged, so when we're dragged, it doesn't feel good. We have those hard lessons. We have the towers. We have those hard lessons that it, either you come out of it or you don't. So we have those hard lessons where we start losing stuff. So it's just like when you're a child. It's like the universe is our parent or God, however you resonate, God, universe, whatever, the same thing. But it's like, it's like when you're a child and your parent says, okay, if you don't, if, if you don't do your chores, um, you, I have a restriction. Um, there's no phone, no going outside or whatever. It's the same exact thing. So when you don't listen or pay attention, things are, you become restricted. You are on punishment and things are taken away from you. And the biggest thing is our money, our money, um, our relationships, the things we're holding on to as as a compensation because we don't want to deal with the real issue <laughs> thank you mar but so this whole retrograde is going it, to it's really it's at, honestly this whole retrograde a lot of you guys are not going to be happy cuz it's going to mess with your money it's going to take some things away your homes, your cars. Um, it's going to be something monetary. So a lot of monetary things are going to be taken away in this retrograde. A lot of delays are not going to go in your favor. They won't go in your favor if you're on the other side of the fence. Just It's a, it's a forewarning because if you're unfulfilled right now, the universe just, God loves us. I'll, I'll just say God. Just, just keep saying, but God universe. But God loves us. And God wants us to be happy. God wants us to be fulfilled. God wants us to have the things that we need, the things that we love, the things that are going to add happiness and peace within our lives. That for us. But if you're stuck, if you're if you're mentally limited, if you're a person where you just like you're in a box where you can't come, it's like you're just so stuck because you're so uh, afraid. Um, you do, that you don't want to take a risk. You don't want to. You have to do the things that make sense. God favors those that do the things that don't make sense. And you guys have heard me say this a thousand times. God favors those that do the things that don't make sense. I don't care if you're a Christian that's in church and paying tithes. I don't care if you're out there on the corner and you're feeding all these homeless people. If you don't do the things that don't make sense, you're not favored. God, does, God favors those who do the things that don't make sense. Meaning that you go against what the human mind might say. The human mind says, okay, this is how life is it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be in a way where, okay, you go to school, you go to college, you get married, you have children, you have family. That No, no, that's not, that, that. it doesn't make sense. It makes sense, but sometimes it doesn't. So meaning that you may have a different route that is not normal, but you're the normal one. Those that follow that do the things that make sense all the time, that can't go outside of that box, are not normal. They're weirdos. They're weird. Like they're weird. Those that can come out that box and do the things off of a risk, off of faith, blind faith. That don't. That when you do the things that don't make sense, that's when you're favored, and you'll always, always land on your feet. You guys know this. A, 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 a lot of you guys have done this before. Where you've done the things that just did not make sense. You've been different. You, I went across, uh, the crowd was going left. You went right. And you're like, why are y'all going left? And they went left to jump off a, like a cliff and die. So, so, But you went right and you went into like a forest filled, I don't know. But you, but, but you were good. When you do the things that don't make sense and when you actually stand against We are all tested. We're all in school. Everything is a test. Everything's a test. Everything's a test. So when you have those exes that pop up out of nowhere, those exes that put you through fucking hell, 
They pop out. They pop up out of nowhere. Hey, what's going on with you? You know, I was thinking about you. Tess, don't please don't fall into that. When you have the situations where you have actually grown from it, you survive from it. You have situations like where you have actually grown from it and you survive from it, and then they, they reoccur, and it may be tempting. Those are tests. God, universe will always test you to see where you are, to see if you're ready to move on to the next level. We're all in school, you guys. We're all in school. We're all in school. And I'm saying this to say this, like we're in this retrograde right now that is trying, it's, it's a, it's a, you guys who are going to be affected, the ones who are going to have a lot of financial issues are going to be people who have actually learned lessons, but still have issues like with fear, anxiety. You don't have, I mean, you just have a lot of faith issues. Um, you're not on your path. You're afraid to go on your path. You're afraid to do the things that don't make sense because you want to be normal or you care about what everybody thinks. It's either you're afraid to, it's either you're afraid because of money or you care about what everybody, what everybody else thinks. And that's why you're not doing what does not make sense. That will make you happy. That will add to your happiness. That will add fulfillment to you. So it's one of two things. It's either a fear of money or a fear of the thought of other people who don't do anything for you, who don't contribute to anything for you, don't pay none of your bills, don't care about nothing that's going on with you. If you're in a ditch today, you call them like, hey, can you come get me out of this ditch? They'd be like, oh, you know what? I, I would, but, you know, I got to, I'm here, I'm, I'm at the grocery store right now. I can't come do it. So it's, it's one of two things. Either you're afraid of your finances and so you're afraid to do the things that don't make sense. So you're far off your purpose. You're so unhappy. You go to work every day, miserable. You're living every single day just to die. You never know when your tomorrow ends. You never know. I mean, tomorrow can be your last day. But you're going to work every single day if you have a job at all. I, I mean, I don't know. But, but you're going to work every single day. You're unhappy. You're unfulfilled. You're mad, you're miserable. You're like, damn, I got to work today. Oh my God, I got to do this. I got to do that. You're stressing out. You're tired all the time, unfulfilled, not knowing what tomorrow brings, but you're afraid to do what actually makes you happy, what adds to you because it doesn't make sense, right? It doesn't make sense. And so therefore you're going to, things are going to be taken away from you in this retrograde. Or you're somebody who cares about what everybody thinks. You're like, well, what are they going to think about me if this comes out? A lot of you guys, so it's a lot of people that are, again, um, there's two categories of people. We have the healers and the teachers. Okay, so we have the healers. Healers have been through some trauma, some things in their lives where they have been through some, they have a major testimony. I mean, I mean you're talking about some things some things that you have survived. A lot of healers have been through the trauma. And yes, you were meant to go. You were meant to go through that trauma. You it was designed for you to go through that trauma. It was designed for you to go through that. It was designed for you to go through everything that you went through. And if you're alive today, and if you're lucid today, and lucid means sane, if, if you're in your right mind, it was meant for you to go through that process. It was meant for you to go because it was meant for you because it's not for you. It was never for you. It was for everybody else that you're meant to heal and help. And that's whether it's it's, it's either through books, like through speaking, through uh, the motivational things, volunteering, through coaching, whatever it is that you're supposed to be doing. I don't know. But at the same time, like, you were meant to go through it because that was your path and your purpose. And so, but you're so afraid. Well, so what's everybody going to think if they know this about me? If they know about my past, if they know that I did this, I did that. If they know that I've been through this, I've been through that. If they know that I, so will they judge me? And these same people, they don't care. They don't care about what's going on with you. They are not going to pay your bills. They are not going to be here to be to add happiness to you. Or add, you're so concerned about what everybody else is thinking. That's why you're staying stuck where you're unhappy and you're unfulfilled and you're living just to die. You're living to grow old and just to die. 75% of my clients that come to me are on live just to die. That's not life. You're going to work, tired, stressed out. You're trying to make excuses in your head why you want to leave. And then you're obligated to all these other people that you're taking care of. Not living your life. Not 
not being in a place where you actually feel happy. You may try to compensate your happiness by maybe trying to add a person into your life or people into you. It, it, it may be like, probably like, like the relationships are um, the monetary things or whatever. You're trying to add things to your life to feel happy and feel good. But then when that's gone, it's back to square one. That's how you live. You're, you're living your life just to die. You're not in your purpose. You're unfulfilled. You're working hard every day. You hate your life. You hate your life. You actually hate your life. And every day you're just growing older just, and you're just waiting to die. And I'm emphasizing on that because it's the truth. You're waiting to die. And that's not living. And guess what happens? So whether you believe in past lives or not a reincarnation, I mean, it's real. We all have lived several lives. You're going to come back and repeat the same life over and over again until you actually get it right. And learn how to really find yourself. Find yourself spiritually. Learn how to be happy. Live Love, laugh, play, be joyful, enjoy life. And that's whether you have a multi-million dollar mansion and 20 cars or whether you are in a hut by a beach. You're happy as hell. Just happy. That's whether if you have hell, 10 wives, are you single? Or 10 husbands, are you single? Are you in the best marriage? There's so many people, you guys, who are... Who appear to look happy, who appear to look great, who appear to to be in great situations, but who are on the verge of jumping off of a cliff. I deal with this every this is my life. Every day. Every day. People who I have to portray that I'm happy to either motivate or to fulfill a certain part of my life. That's my substance or my temporary substance to make me feel okay in a moment. But when I get off the line, when I got the internet, when I get off, when I take my makeup off, when I wash my face, to um to take my hair off, whatever, I'm I'm so lonely, I'm so angry, I'm so mad, I'm so sad. I'm I I don't want to be here anymore. I deal with this every single day. So this retrograde that's coming up right now, for those of you guys who actually supplement and try to compensate with monetary things, okay, well, if I have this, I'm happy. If I accomplish this, I'm happy. If I do this and I'm happy, y'all in a, man, y'all, y'all in a rude awakening. October 31st, November 21st is going to be a challenge. For a lot of people, and you're gonna see a lot, a lot of people who are gonna be very depressed. And I've stated that I've been talking about this. Since, if you guys watch my videos, if you go back and watch my videos, I've been talking about since November. I've been talking about this whole sweep and this energy. Everything that I said was gonna happen this year has happened. Every single thing that I said was gonna happen this year has happened. As you guys know, for those of you guys who don't know, I am um I have a gift to read energy, and that's what I do for a living. I read energy to help people to resolve something they may not want to face or that, I mean, nobody else sees. So I can see what like, pretty much nobody else sees. I can read your subconscious energy. So that's how I help people. And so, and I read the energy of it. If you go or whatever, but if you go back to my videos, I stated all the things that have been happening this year has happened. Everything has happened. Even with the natural disasters, everything is everything has happened. Everything's happened. And in this new energy that's coming up, it's going to get worse because some people depend on monetary things and physical things to add that substance to their life. Although that substance is only temporary and that's going to be taken away from them. And it's retrograde. Hey, William. Hey, Peanut. Hey, Kimmy. So things are being taken away right now. They being taken away like left and right. And it's already starting. Um, it's already starting. Um, but on the 31st of October, it will be very much intense. Um, so as you guys know, again, with the retrograde energy, that's when Mercury goes into retrograde and it's in Scorpio. So Scorpio is very black and white. Scorpio has no gray areas. It's either you're in or you're out. So with Scorpio energy, it's meaning that you're either going to be on one side of the fence or you're not. Again, if you're on the right side of the fence, 
if your energy and your vibrations are right, if you're in your path, it's going to be a very prosperous. I mean, things that you, it's wish fulfillment, things that seem impossible, it's going it's to be magical for you, meaning that you're going to have some great stuff coming in for you. Things that you've been wanting for a long time are going to be coming in for you. Money's going to be flowing in. Your dream jobs. It's like a dream come true. So for some of you guys, it's going to be a dream come true if you're on the right side of the fence. It's, 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 if you're on the right side of the fence, the dream come true, like dream perfection. You're going to have a perfect retrograde where everything is going to go right. Everything is. But if you're on the other side of that retrograde, God help you. You're going to be broke. You're going to be broke. Um, a lot of money expenses, a lot of, a lot of this unsuspected things coming up. A lot of, a lot of, it's, it's going to be, be losing your jobs, probably losing your homes, your cars. I don't know, but the universe is going to take something away from you that's monetary. And that's how it's going to be. It's, I, it's either or, there's no great, there's no, oh, well, kind of, either you're on one side or the other with this retrograde. You're either on one side. Yes. October 31st through November 21st. You guys can feel it. So right now, either you either feel really good and excited. So you either feel really good and excited. And you feel like, you feel stressed out. You're like, what the hell am I going to do? Like, what's happening? You probably feel lost. You don't know what's happening with you right now. You're like, I don't know what direction I'm supposed to go in. You're about to get some a rude awakening. If you're in that energy right now where you feel, and guys, please share this video. Please share the video. Because again, it may be somebody that you actually, that needs to hear this. So, if you're not on your path, if you know that you're that person that's like, where am I? Who am I? So, what do I do next? So, what do I mean? I'm, I'm so unfulfilled. So, what do I mean? What do I do? If you're that person, this retrograde is about to kick your ass into that space. It's going to push you into it, but it doesn't always feel the greatest. But just know everything happens for a reason and God loves you. We'll say God, God, universe. God, the universe loves you and wants you to always have the best, the best, the highest and greatest good. Meaning that even if that means, yeah, you got to be on punishment or restriction for a while, I'm going to try to make sure that you gain the lesson so you can, so you won't do it again. So you can come out of it. Learn a lesson and move forward. On the flip side, as you guys know, um, I am the intuitive goddess. So if you do, if you don't know where you're supposed to go, if you don't know, book a session with me, www.kennishesmith.net, which I will also leave to as well in the description. But just book a session. I can tell you what your path is or help you to identify what your path is if, if it's meant for you to know it at this time. So you guys be blessed. Take care. I want to just like, to just give you some wait, wait, let's see my time. Okay, I have like 30 minutes. Let's do some live energy readings. All right, so live energy sessions. How this works. If you guys ask me a question, be as specific as possible. What I'll do is I will ask you the question. So I'm a channel, and what I do is I write down. So, I should, so if you ask me a question, it's like I'm asking you a question. I connect with the subconscious energy of a person. So the subconscious energy never lies. That's your God self, your soul. And so that never lies. So if you ask me a question, be as specific. Just, just please be specific as possible so I can actually ask you. Hey, Jacqueline. Jackie. I hope all is well. Just Jackie. Jackie's been with, we've been together for a while. All right, so if you guys have any questions, I can answer them for you. As you guys know, again, I am um, how I ask questions. Be specific as possible, please. Thank you. Don't ask me any general questions like what's the meaning of life or do you have any messages for me? There's a lot of messages. But if you do have a question, I'm more than happy to answer them for you now. It can be anything. I can answer anybody's questions. It doesn't have to be about you. It can be about anything. So, with this retrograde energy, uh, Sharon, what side will you be on? 1031. Let's see. So, again, for you guys who are new, um, I take a blank piece of paper and a pen, and I ask the question, and I get the answers that way. So...
Also, to remember, this is live, so so whatever you ask me, just know that it is live and everybody can see it. So just, just so you know. Sharon, you're on the lesson side, so you're gonna be having some from you because because you're not on your path. So because you're not on your path, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so you're not on your path, and a big, pe so a big part of your path is through love and compassion, and your heart is so blocked. Like you have so many different heart issues, like um, just major self love, and then too, like you have a hard time accepting love from other people, and so it's blocking your path. Um, so you're gonna be, and that's your money too as well. So, Sharon, contact me, girl. Book a session. I can help you with that. Like seriously, I I will help you. Uh, Dejeuner, will I have new clients next month? Dejeuner, um, Dejeuner, just uh, contact me personally, Dejeuner. You know, we still, contact me personally. There's, just contact me personally. Uh, call me, um, uh, call me tomorrow morning. I'll be available. Miracle, um, I want my vacation business. Is that a good idea for me? I'm getting yes. And that's so crazy because Miracle, I would never yes. It's actually a good idea for you. Um, it's going to open the doors for other things for you. So the answer came up as yes. Yes, absolutely. Hey, Marissa. Marissa Williams. I love my job, but not enough money. I'm on a right career. Nope. Big no. It's a huge no. A huge no. You are not on your path at all. Girl, contact me. Book your session. And I'll put the information on there, but but no, no, absolutely not. Um, so you have a double answer. It's yes and no, but the only reason why it's, it's almost, it's a, um, I don't know why, but you're, it's the fashion industry for you, Liz. Um, for some reason, fashion is coming up for you, um, where you're really good with fashion. You're good with, um, I don't know if it's, that we're planning things or I don't know. It's something like with just making things look good or people look good. So you're really, I think food is okay because you're working with your artists, um, artistic side, but I'm getting like a fashion or either like you're like a, um, you're a creator. So it's like, but it's like more with, it's like fashion or creating it's beautiful situations and that's either in clothes or in event planning or something like that and that's where you'll find your happiness fulfillment and your money like big money and you're not going to be in Atlanta that much longer either you're supposed to be moving back to I, I don't know where you're from exactly but I see LA like Los Angeles all right Karen it's no Karen you're not getting purpose no they absolutely actually you're going in, in like a different direction all right, uh, Ra, T. Bryn, am I on the right path? No, love, no. Is he on the right? Yeah, it's come up as no, no. Um, you're welcome. Jacqueline, oh, thank you, Jackie. <laughs> thank you. Pamela, I'm on the right path professionally. It's kind of partially. It's something that you're missing. Um, so with you, Pamela, it's crazy because you're kind of, it's like almost like you take five steps forward and then you take like four steps back. So it's almost like you're kind of on the right path, but then you keep going backwards. It's because of your lack of confidence. Like you lack so much confidence, you don't believe in yourself and you always question every freaking thing and your, you question everything. And so because of your lack of confidence, it doesn't allow you to move forward the way that you need to. You should be way further than where you are right now. But because of your lack of confidence, it pulls you back. So 
um, you have a block there. I would recommend that you actually contact me and actually book a session. Like seriously, seriously. Because Pamela, you actually, it's like, it's kind of like you're on. It's your lack of confidence and the fear and anxiety that keep pulling you back. But you are going in the right direction. But it's like, no. So it's like, I'm running, I'm running. But like, nah. It keeps pulling you back. But it's, it's because it's internal. Hey, Marv. What's my best path? Dude, I just said don't ask me those open-ended questions. <laughs> That's a whole freaking reading. Mark, book your freaking session. I don't know what the problem is. Book your session. Hey, Kimberly. What side am I on um, with the retrograde? You're in a good side. You're about to have some money coming in, some moolah. Mucho, mucho moolah. Mucho, mucho moolah, Kimberly. Um, something you've been working towards is, is, is about to come in. Um, there's one thing that you're missing. I'm not for sure what it is. You have a missing, it's like a small one. It's like one missing puzzle piece, like just one. But you actually are on the good side of it. You're on the good side of the fence. So you have some some blessings coming in with this retrograde. Yeah, you're going to be very prosperous. However, it's only if you get that small piece. But I think you're close to it. I think you're pretty close. Um, Sharon Bailey, I don't know my path. Girl, book your session. Hey, Keisha. Hey, Keisha. Keisha, Keisha, Keisha. Oh, this is true. Well, thank you for the, the confirmation, Pamela. I appreciate it. But duh. <laughs> I'm just joking. Y'all not cocky. I just... But yeah, so... um, But yeah, you guys. Like, So this retrograde is definitely going to be an interesting one. I hope you guys... If you are if you know you're not on your path, please save your coins. Because you're going to be so mad. And I, I'm not laughing. I don't think it's funny. But at the same time, though, like, please save your coins. If you're that person that does not feel like you're on your path and purpose, if you feel unfulfilled, if you feel bored, if you hate your job, if you hate going to work and you're trying to think, uh, if you wake up in the morning, you're like, damn, what can I say today? So I won't have to go to work. Or what can I do today? You're about to go through some things where something more is going to be taken away from you. You're about to be pushed into your, hopefully you'll be pushed into your path and your purpose. Hopefully. Marissa, what side are you on? Not the positive side. You're more on this. Kimberly's. Oh, did I? I'm sorry. I don't know. I talked to so many freaking people. I'm so. If I don't remember our conversations, I'm so sorry. But you guys, um, I have to get ready to go. I have to work. I have another client. Actually, yep. It's almost time I have, to have another client, like right now. So if you guys want to book a personal session with me or kind of see like what's going on with you through this retrograde or where you need to be on your path, your purpose or whatever, contact me through my website, www.candisheesmith.net, which I will also I'll update the title. And uh, can somebody actually post that, please? If you know my website, please post it. Thank you. I love you forever. But I'll also post it too is in my description. Um, but with this retrograde, you guys, like me, it's going to be fun. You guys know... That Mercury is always oh also to another thing with Mercury, and I was just talking. Um, this, so it's very imperative that you really be patient. Communication, as you guys know, Mercury is the planet of communication. So things are sometimes misconstrued, a lot of misunderstandings. And again, we're all we're also in we're already in the energy. It's already here. So the energy is already starting. So we have like a beginning point, then we have the retrograde, and then we have the ending where it like it kind of you know. Thank you, Ra. Oh, thank you so much. I'll, thank you. Send you much love and great karma. Thank you. Um, but this energy is... So what I would recommend for you... Um, you guys know I'm in healing crystals. So I have my, my crystals here. I have my, my organite. I have everything. I have my rose quartz. I have like... I love raw crystals. So I have all my crystals. So what I would recommend for this retrograde energy to help you get through it, to help you balance it, is probably sacral energy crystals. So look up sacral. That's S-A-C-R-A-L. Sacral. Sacral energy crystals. I will focus on that energy. Um, get you some crystals. Um... Some carnelian, some tiger's eye. Um, 
I know citrine is more of solar plexus, which is in your stomach, but citrine is still good. But anything that's like more grounding to help you through this energy, because it's gonna be it's gonna be a tough one for some of you guys. If you're not on your path, if you're not doing what you're supposed to be doing. Cameron, the stars are shining bright and beautiful. Hey. Tomo to be. <laughs> you guys be blessed. Take care. Please share this video. You never know who may need to hear it. Um, if you need to, if you need me, please contact me through my website, www. And I'll be talking to you guys soon. Much love, light, blessings. Now bitch you know.